ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you watched uh, yesterday's video about learning how to, to push, when and how to push, then you would know that today's video is all about the FC4005. Yes, it's tea time if you are uh, driving at the FC. Of course, it is a British tank, so that attachment uh, sums it up very, very nicely. It's tea time. Uh, so what's the tank like? I mean, I'm not going to pay this much for the camera. I mean, I should really being british i love a cup of tea uh but yeah i'm not going to pay four thousand uh, for just uh, an attachment um on a, on a tank unless i've got just spare gold sitting there so what is the fe4005 like now the fe4005 obviously we've just come back from tank fest and the fe4005 uh, is the ship barn is one of the most impressive tanks to look at at Bovington Tank Museum. It's the first thing you see when you come at the front entrance to the museum. It is absolutely massive. Like, it is really big. The gun is massive. It is a fantastic tank, even in the game. It is a brilliant tank. Uh, it's got four shells, which really helps. Uh, it's got the speed boost. It's got the shell reload boost. So you can get your reload down to like one point something seconds per uh, per shot for your intraclip reload. So you can deal dish out a load of damage very, very, very quickly. It also has something that is called spool liner, which I would strongly, strongly recommend because if people shoot a HE at you, they will do 20% less damage. So uh, it's always a tank like this, you know, the grill, the waffle, anything like that, you should run the spool liner because people will shoot a HE at you and at least they're not doing as much damage. Now we are running this tank with calibrated shells um, I don't know why, if I'm honest, because it has APCR. So I will probably, no, because it's an auto loader. You know, auto loader, I, uh, I always run calibrated shells regardless of the shells. So as you can see with the armor, 76 millimeters on your hull is the best that you're going to get. So 76, I mean, yes, it's not nothing, but 76 will avoid a lot of HE uh, into your into your hull. So not many people will actually be able to shoot HE on your hull. However, you've got a big, massive turret. Uh, yeah, you've got a big, massive turret that is only 14 millimeters thick, which means anything it, that comes in your way will be able to shoot your turret with HE. It's absolutely paper. Anybody, tier nine, tier eight, tier seven, anything will pretty much be able to penetrate your turret with HE. So bear that in mind uh, and run the spool liner. So at least they are doing less damage per shot. So even with calibrated shells, your DPM still is really, really good. For an auto loader, it is really good at 3,280. That is a magazine reload of 22.5 seconds. Shell reload time is 2.5, but don't forget you do have that shell reload there. Uh, um, consumable so it makes it down to around just over one one and a half seconds or so 1.7 seconds something like that so you have four shells in your magazine the penetration again we are running with calibrated shells to so bear that in mind your ap pen is 305 your apcr is 388 which is more than enough and your he is 72 millimeters you've got a 410 alpha so uh, yeah i mean it could do with being a little bit more uh, a little bit more alpha but i think with the four shells it is perfectly fine uh i i personally would rather pr i don't know I, I would probably rather the higher alpha 460 sort of around four four for 60 500 mark and only have the three shells uh, personally but you know it's the way it is it's got decent dpm four shells you can track people you can annoy people and with that shell reload boost as well it can be a very very annoying tank so you've got 350 on your apcr 500 on your he your aim time is 3.6 so uh yeah it's not too bad and your dispersion 0 0.330 not the best but you know not the worst either you do have 10 degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour but again if you use that uh, that reload boost 
um, then you will go a little bit quicker for a short amount of time. Now, I think if this tank went that speed constantly uh, without using that uh, consumable, I think it could be a little bit too strong. Uh, you know, I might be wrong, but I don't think it needs a buff in, in any way, if I'm honest. I think it is perfectly uh, acceptable how it is. Um, I love the speed. As you've seen in my video yesterday, I t in this tank, I do tend to go with my my medium tanks because you've got the speed to keep up with them i mean this game here the enemy have one medium and one light tank we only have one light tank so i'm going to play the, the medium tank so it evens it out however i've got the, almost the same dpm as the mediums a little bit less but i can inflict a big amount of damage now if this t100 works with me and or i work with him and we go for the same target we can take these guys out very very quickly so as you've seen the wz132 is up there the amx is up here as well and again when you can get a, a nice fire uh, like that just over 900 damage to that guy then he is already uh, he's already lost a lot of hit points so at this point again if you would have watched yesterday's video We've got to make that decision. Are, are we going to rush these guys because they both lost hit points? I mean, I can take both of these guys out now with one magazine. Uh, but we decided I'm not, I'm not going to rush right now because there is a Death Star very, very close by. So I'm just going to sit for now. And we managed to get a very nice, beautiful bounce somehow. But there goes the light tank. So even though the Death Star is around, I'm thinking, do you know what? I'm going to go and take out this AMX. If, as long as I sit low, then I should be able to take him out. And I do manage to take him out before he tries to run away. And with a minute and a half, they've already lost three, uh, three tanks. And not only have they lost three tanks, but they've now left this Death Star pretty much all on his own around here. Now, they do have a waffle a little bit behind. Uh, but at this point, there's just three tanks left alive. I'm not worried at all. There's a shot. I do get shot, but when it's a 7 versus 3 and this Death Star is a 2 shot, they're all pushing that uh, the other tank destroyer around the corner and we already know that there is a waffle. So, I'm, you know, I'm just going to sit here for now. There's no point me wasting any more hit points for now because I'm still reloading. So I'm still going to hide. As soon as I've reloaded, there goes the Yeguru. It's just these two tanks left alive. So there's one shot and now it's just three shots left to get this uh, as much damage as I can. Uh, against this waffle and of course we do fail the first shot and we're going to fail the third shot by shooting that guy's gun so we could have done 4,000 damage we could have done 4,000 damage we decided that we wanted to mess up two of our shots but uh, it's a very nice tank it really is a very very nice tank you've got to play it careful because it is vulnerable it really is vulnerable um, if you use your magazine and uh, you haven't got a little bit of uh, cover then you can get wrecked very, very, very quickly. So if you play it the right way, this tank, honestly, this tank absolutely becomes uh, incredible. So again, same thing this game. The enemy have one medium, we have one medium, so I'm going to use my mobility. Now, the reason I choose to go with my medium tanks is because... I can't really do too much. I mean, yeah, I can inflict damage. If my medium, my heavy tanks here, they're all pretty much going to go down. What can I do? I mean, yes, I can sit at the back behind them all, uh, but I'm more better off playing it like a medium tank and supporting my mediums, you know? Not playing it so much front line, but more behind my mediums. So if we do spot a medium tank, they're not automatically going to go for me. They're going to go for the, the tank that is further forward, and that is, of course, the, the, the medium tank. So that is how I normally play uh, this tank. Of course, if there is certain maps and uh, we've got a good amount of mediums, then yeah, it might be worth me sat at the back of the map. But if we work well together, I mean, just look how quickly we take care of this TVP. I mean, gone. Absolutely gone. Because we took care of him. He was the only one there. Would that have happened if I wouldn't have come to help the pattern? Probably not, no. He might have, the pattern might have died. Look, I mean, he's only on 700 hit points. He's lost 1,200 hit points to that guy. Because that guy focused him and not me, I managed to do 1,200 hit, uh, damage, and I haven't lost a single hit point. And at this point now, there is two tanks down. No one is around this side of the map, so I'm going to use my speed to get behind the Super Conqueror. Again, 1,200 hit points. There's one shot. There's two shots. There's three shots. 
and I'm not, uh, and I do take them out. I mean, that's done. That means the battle is pretty much ours. I'm not taking anything for granted at the moment because anything could change, but just the position that I'm putting myself in with this tank really does make the tank look fantastic. And it is fantastic. Uh, you've just got to put it in the right position. And again, we're going to go again. We've got two seconds left on the reload. We're going to go for the 60 TP. Uh, now, he does get lucky. He's trying to shoot HE there, I think. And he, I think, no, I, I think he just completely misses. But there's another shot. And there is the third shot. And he's now uh, just a one shot. Unfortunately, we are now on a 20 second reload. So there's not too much I can do. And at this point, it's a five versus three. And I'm thinking, you know, we could actually lose this. But uh, I don't think we're going to lose it. So I'm happy just sitting here taking some shots from this guy as long as we get to take him out we're on 4.4k damage i am i was going to go and shoot apcr at him just to guarantee the pen but we don't need to we've now got four shells for some reason i am using apcr i don't know why i didn't switch to the a uh, the ap but again there's two shots uh, we're going to go for the third shot and we've got one more shell again we could have got we could have probably been able to clear that guy if we would have just used AP. I wasn't aware uh, for some reason that I wasn't using APCR, but we could have broke the 6,000 mark. And that is not us camping. You know, that's not us sat at the back of the map. That's more playing like a medium tank. And that's what this tank is absolutely capable of doing. Playing it like a medium, support your mediums. If you have to play it like a heavy, sit way behind your heavies, let them take the shots and you could be the bully. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meezy69. We do leave you with a, a nice tier 10 ace. It's been a while since I've had a tier 10 ace, especially for a video, but there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meezy. Let me know your thoughts on the FV400 time. Uh, double O time for <laughs> FV4005. Let me know in the comments below. But for now, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meezy, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.